good morning. Um, it's Monday, and I had a question come in about partial differences. Um, just as a refresher, we're going to go over how to do partial differences. It's been a little bit of time. Um, it might have not been your favorite strategy. So here's a refresher on how to do partial differences. Um, if there was an equation such as 77 minus 36, and you were asked, please solve this using partial differences. Um, in order to do partial differences, we're going to break this number 36 into a 30 and a 6. We're going to first start with 77, and then we're going to subtract the tens, which is 30, um, three tens. So 77 minus 30 is 47. Now I have to subtract the 6. My total that I'm subtracting is 36. I'm just breaking it into two smaller pieces in order to find um, the difference using partial differences. So now I'm subtracting 6. And 41 is going to be the difference. This is how I'm using partial differences. I'm breaking it into smaller steps, and that's how you do partial differences. Let me do another one. Um, this one I made into a number that's going to have to be regrouped. So I want to show you what happens when you have to use regrouping. So 98 minus 39, you must solve it using partial differences. I'm going to break this apart like I did before. So into 30 and 9. I'm going to start with that beginning number, 98. I'm going to subtract the tens first. There are three tens, which has a value of 30. So that gives me 68. The next number that I need to subtract is 9. Well, I only have 8 1s over here, so I'm going to break this 9 into an 8 and a 1 because 8 plus 1 equals that same number of 9. So if I break it into smaller chunks, it's easier for me. So this is 60. The last one that I have left is 1. 60 minus 1. That's something that I am able to do in my head, but remember if you have to show your work for this um, to do the borrow a 10, and then do that regrouping over here. So 59 is the difference. 98 minus 39 has a difference of 59. Let me do another one. So this is all with partial differences. And because I'm doing these as two digit numbers, that's something that you should already be familiar with. Um, I'm trying to think of some that have I don't know, regrouping seems to be the ones that are a little bit more confusing, so I want to make sure I give you enough options for that. So 47 minus 28, I went ahead and put this underneath here because I am going to break it apart to do the partial differences. Um, so my first step is going to be 47. I want to subtract the tens first. This is the same as like when you're on your open number line and you're doing your jumps and things like that and you want to subtract the tens um, first. This is just kind of another way that we're showing that with the partial differences. So 47 minus 28, we've got 20, and we've got 8. I'm going to start with subtracting the 20, which gives me 27. Now I have to subtract 8. I only have 7 in the 1s, so I'm going to break this apart and get rid of that 7 first. Then I'll subtract the 1. So we've got 20. Now we're subtracting the 1. 20 minus the 1 gives you 19. So the difference is 19. Another one. All right, 64 minus 28, we're using partial differences. I'm going to be breaking apart this number. 28 is the same as 20 plus 8. So first I'm going to subtract the 20. So 64 minus 20. Then I'm going to subtract 8. Um, I don't want to just subtract 8 because I don't really want to have to think that hard. I'm not using vertical. I'm trying to use partial differences, and so I'm going to break this apart. I'm going to get rid of um, this minus the 4 in the 1's place. So I'm going to break 8 into 4 plus 4. So first we're going to subtract the 4, and then we're going to subtract the other 4 in a minute. So 44 minus 4 is 40. Now I have to subtract 4 because I have to do both of these. Now if I was to try to make sure I got the 28 all subtracted, I could look back on here and I can say, oh, here's 20 plus 4 plus 4 
that equals to be 28. That's how I can double check that I've done this correct and that I haven't forgotten any stuff. So 40 minus 4 is 36. So the difference is 36, and I used partial differences in order to solve that. Let me show you another one. So once you get the hang of it, it makes it a lot faster. It's not necessarily my favorite strategy, but it is one that you need to be familiar with, with doing. Um, 82 minus 49 equals something. Um, same deal, 82 minus 49. First we wanna get rid of the 40, then we'll get rid of the nine. So we're breaking this into 40 and nine. We've got our 82 and we're gonna subtract 49 starting with the 40. Now we have 42. We're not done. We have to subtract this 9. I don't want to just take away the 9 first. I'm going to break apart my 9 into a 2 and a 7. So 42 minus the 2 is 40. Now I'm going to get rid of the 7. So 40, take away the 7. I'm going to do a little regrouping over here. And we've got 33. The difference that I'm writing over here is 33. This is using partial differences. This is just a quick review on how to do that.